My name is Xavier, and it's time for a Gorilla Hop, number 15 out of 17 missions, it feels like. Anyway, I'm going to do the only non-difficult mission, because I feel like I'm massively outgeared, having non not gone for magnetic weapons right away like I should have, which was my plan when I started, but then I got distracted by armor. Uh, I'm also going to bring two rangers for the crit up-close damage and no snipers. Uh, snipers just really haven't been pulling their weight recently anyway. Uh, also, Meme Bacon is here, uh, as usual, and Flashbang and Scanner, and I have to remember, there are Faceless. There are Faceless, and five grenades. Roll. Faceless. Remember the Faceless. Is that robot basketball? Okay, enough distractions. I'm in the back. I need to go here. That's a building. I can't see any other buildings anywhere. I'm gonna guess that this is a city block or whatever, a set piece, and beyond that's another building up here. So I, I just, I'm gonna hope, or should I hope the other direction? I don't know. I'll just, I'll just go up here, Position I guess. Confirmed. I can use my battle scanners to try to see which direction to go. What's down here? Like a street? Oh, this is like the parking garage. Or whatever for the for the advent, which means let's go to the right and maybe there'll be a building over there we can get elevation on. That makes sense. Looks like this side is safe, so we'll just move up with Ecta. Heading there now. Making sure not to go near any civilians because faceless. Oh, hello, civilians. Are you faceless? Ooh, Locus just found something. What is it and where? Got eyes on a hostile squad. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really need those mag weapons like yesterday. <laughs> really badly. I don't want to park too close to these guys because they could be faceless. Am I saying faceless enough? Do you think I'll remember there's faceless or will I be surprised again? Okay. Ooh, they're coming right towards me. This could be good. It does look like there is a building up here too that I can use, right? Starting right here. Yep, there's an elevation. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's going to be close enough to really matter though. Well, let's get Ecta closer anyway. Moving out. Make sure there's no civilian slash faceless around. Looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna wait one more turn for them to get closer. Come friends, come real, real close. And hopefully nothing else act- ooh, potential faceless. Potential faceless. Oh, that's what I like to see. So I have two, um, phantoms, that's what they are. So I'm gonna blow one right here with Ecta. Nothing better than a 97% shot with a ranger with a 50% crit. Phantom or no phantom, murder! Eh. Whatever, average roll. We're busted. Hi guys, run to the car for cover, it's safe. I promise you. <laughs> oh god, what a bunch of morons. Do I actually, do I even need a grenade? I can actually flank both of them just from here and here and here. Okay, any faceless slash civilians to worry about? Nope. Question is, if I go here, will I activate something? Maybe. I might want to. I'm not going to be able to kill all three of them right now. They have too much HP. So what I might want to do is just suppress with Razor on somebody. I don't know who yet. You know what? Let's go point blank here with Mitch. We'll probably suppress the one out in the back. I'm on the move. And he'll be flanked. He'll want to move anyway. Actually, no, that's bad. Well, I don't really know or care. 87%. Mitch, murder. Ooh. Nice job, Mitch. Nice, nice job. Okay, I only have two more shots here. I'm gonna have to blow Phantom, I feel. It's just there's too much HP for me to not blow Phantom. And I'm gonna have a hard time killing that thing. Let's move up with Brytek. You say so? See if we can get some really good damage without having to use any combat anything. 79? Uh, no, it's gonna have to be Plockets here. Expose yourself and take a 90. Please crit, the whole thing would be fantastic. Yes! Wow, Plockets is new champ. New champ, Plockets. This gives me one free 72% shot. Not bad here, even a mineral will kill it. Let's go for it. Brytek, hit! Yes, yes, things are going right for once. And let's suppress the last one with Razor. Oh, I should have moved to the full cover. Eh, whatever. Misplay. He's gonna move anyway because he's flanked. 52 miss. Oh god. Who's gonna take? Who's gonna take a shot? A grenade. Wow. That was effective. 
Getting a little too warm over here. Don't get don't get on Oh my Wow. Just wow. Well I well I Brightex's probably dead. Not much I can do about it. Okay, check for faceless. We see nothing. I could come here. This looks smart. Let's do that with Mitch. We get a flank shot and we activate something. Oh, hello, snake sectoid sectoid. What the hell kind of N2 turrets? Oh my. Okay. Well, that's quite a pod. Ooh, I can actually grenade with Mitch here and destroy the turret and knock the sectoid down. It's like barely a place, but it can be done. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, Let's just take out a turret and knock down a sectoid. One less thing. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, did it not fall? One less thing to worry about. If you're not aware, if you just blow up the ground under a turret, it's dead. And you also might have to watch 15 seconds of animation, so. All right, now how on earth are we gonna kill this thing? Can I come over to here without any faceless? Yes, I can, it looks like. Wow, this is just so much stuff. As such, let's, let's bring Rolling. Ecta up to the full cover of the truck. Get a flank shot on this guy. Hello, 100%, please crit. Mm, oh well, not the worst. This could literally be the end of Brytek if, if that fire doesn't just get put out. Wait, water. Where is there water? There is no water. God damn it, how do you future civilizations survive? Well, we can't even hack anything, it seems. Oh, because I'm on fire. Well, that sucks. 81%, Brytek, please hit. If he does die, he's at least gonna go out in style. I'll give him that much. Okay, let's move Plockets up to the other Heading side of this truck. Location. We'll move Razor up as far fire as we can. We're just gonna have to blow a grenade here. Unfortunately, this is not the best grenade in the world, but I hate Snake. I hate it so much. Let's grenade it, knock on its cover, give Plockets a shot. Wow. Okay. And Plockets, 77. Yeah, I'm not gonna flashbang. Someone's gonna take a shot from a turret, but I'm fine with that. 77 Plockets! What? Uh, wonderful. Oh, hello, Faceless. Good thing I'm just far enough away from you that it won't matter what you do. Wait, these turrets probably have two shots. Ooh, blocked its tongue grab! I need a med kit here! That's actually pretty good. Sure, he's gonna be wounded for a little while, but that makes it so easy to kill the snake. You're not seriously gonna- Oh yeah, I was gonna say. You're not really gonna shoot, are you? I just hope that turret doesn't kill Mitch. That's all. Help! Help! Someone help! Why is- oh, it must have been mind spin. The animation failed to play- ooh, kill snake! Razor, 38% miss. How is that only 38? The snake's standing in the open. At least Razor's out of the range of the turret. It, what did that turret just do? It took a 70% shot and missed on Plockets? Can it do that? Okay, well... Medic. This is just terrible. Why is Razor panicking? It shouldn't even be possible. How on earth am I gonna do this? Okay, Plockets has the flashbang. I feel like now's a good time for a Mimic Beacon. So let's, uh, this thing, the Faceless will attack it because it's spawned and I'm gonna throw it after it's spawned. So let's get as close as possible with Ecta to the snake. We'll free Plockets, 97%. God, that's so dicey. Ooh, that hit like a truck. Uh, let's just pull Mitch back. If we're gonna use the Mimic Beacon... I can't use the Mimic Beacon because he's burning. Oh my god. In that case, I kinda have to use the Flashbang. But I can at least Flashbang the Faceless and the Sectoid simultaneously. Well, that's good. If I Flashbang the Sectoid, he'll probably run over here and crit Mitch. Then again, I don't really... I have to kill the Faceless eventually. Will the Sectoid be able to get all the way there and shoot Mitch? Yeah, I think so. Let's try to save the grenade and shoot this faceless. 76%. Very good. Okay, I hope this fire goes out on Brytek. Like, right now. Okay, I'll Keep go. moving, keep moving! Maybe just running through the wind will put the fire out. Okay, 81%. Brytek. Nice-ish. I can't let the zombie continue to live. So I'm gonna have to get to wherever this cover. It looks Orders like right confirmed. here. 
But did I just see something inside? Is that the third pod? I couldn't quite see it. Something was blocking my view. And that's it. Let's flashbang the faceless and the sectoid. Uh, another turn that's not fantastic. I am so outgeared right now. Okay, the other sectoid will mine nonsense, but that one's gonna shoot at somebody. And the faceless, I just have to pray, can't get far enough. Oh, you can't get a flank, can you, friend? Uh oh, Brytek. You're probably gonna burn to death anyway. 35% crit, huh? Well, there goes my only specialist. That guy just teleported and quick animated. That's actually nice. I like that animation, or lack thereof. Hi, gun. I forgot about you. Ah, that didn't feel good. Hit Ecta with a 50. Aha, you can't move. Ah, jeez, losing so many soldiers. Okay, well that could have been a lot worse, really. Let's see if I can move over here behind this, ooh. Well, I could get up there and have a flank, I think. I'd have to step out backwards and shoot. I'm not sure if that works, actually. And that assumes that I can kill it, which, quite frankly, can I? I don't even know. All right, I don't want to activate that other pod by mistake. I do want to grenade that thing up there. So let's bring Razor up as far as we can. It's going to be this truck. Here I come. We'll hit that sectoid a little bit. Maybe knock out a cover for plockets. Yeah, and then I also want to destroy this gun. There we go. And that'll also hit the sectoid, but it should leave this cover intact. No, that's a civilian. Okay. Well, see you later, gun. That also drops the sectoid down really low. Poor Brytek. Murdered. Well, the sectoid's in the open now, which gives 94% to Plockets. That's so bad. Kinda have to kill this thing while I'm here. Could I go somewhere else that's safer? I could come in here, that risk activating, but that was just a civilian, so it's probably fine. Let's come in here to the full Maybe. cover. And we'll shoot ye old faceless in the face. <laughs> Juice the dead. Okay, this sectoid empty. Can't engage. is still my I think the mine thing will wear off though. It says it lasts two turns, but it really doesn't. 83%! Mitch, flank, hit crit murder! God, I don't know what to do now. This one has already used both of its ammo. abilities. Should I risk coming out here to kill this one and then let... No, because this zombie is up, so I have to kill that one. But I don't want to be here with Plockets. But if I step out, I'll see through that window and potentially activate. But if I stay here... God, Mitch is almost certainly dead! Ah, this sucks! What I need is one more, what I need is a combat protocol. Stupid grenade setting you on fire. <sighs> Whatever, 94% plockets, let's just do it safe. And now we pray that Mitch survives. Come on, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. Survive. Survive the onslaught. What do you, th it looks like he's thinking. He's thinking, he's contemplating. Oh, he's going for Mitch. Okay, Mitch dodge. Thank you! What? No! What's happening? No! This isn't right! Shoot back, Plockets! This isn't right! 1% <laughs> miss. Uh, nice reaction, anyway. God, Mitch is just... Okay, okay, okay I get it, Plockets. It, everything sucks, I know. I know. Okay, given the options, Mitch is out of ammo, Plockets is panicked, Razor has one grenade, and Ecta has no ammo, and I, this, I have to actually get in range to attack that next turn, which means Ecta can't even reload. In fact, she has to dash. And I don't even know where she has to dash to. Someplace super risky. Yeah, the only say the only place I can dash to with Ecta is here. We have to do that right now and see if we activate. There's no other option if I want to hack it next turn. Nice, no activations. Well, this leaves me with two people and one sectoid. I think we're gonna have to go for broke on this one. Let's move Razor up to the full cover. We'll use his last grenade. God, this is just like right at the edge of what I could potentially do. Uh, that fire on Brytek, though. Okay, damn it, we didn't high roll. Had we, I could have actually guaranteed a kill with Mitch. 
uh, with the stock, but alas, here's my options. I can use the final grenade, keep in mind there's at least Good one more go. pod, if not another reinforcement and two pods, to guarantee a kill or 80% luck. I can't move, and I... Uh, Mitch, your life could depend on this. Whatever you do, don't blink! Ooh. It's like 80% are unbelievably cringeworthy. Oh, hey, we got a promotion on Mitch. I hear a snake. I hear a snake. Okay, well, Ecta, okay. let's go hacky hacky. And what do we find? There's still one more faceless, too. Wow. Okay, well, she pretty much sucks at hacking. <laughs> Research time wouldn't really help because the tech is already like, well, it's not, I don't know. I think it's like 75% done. Whatever, go. It's not gonna hit it anyway, yep. <laughs> they actually say that. <sighs> that's awesome. Ooh, okay, that's good. Everybody's out of ammo and a thousand miles away. Oh god, that better not be a faceless. Well, if it is, oh well. Can't really do anything about it. Okay, I moved up, reloaded. Damn it, I really wanted to get an overwatch trap on them. And there is ser good thing I saved that grenade. Unfortunately, Ecta has to reload. Uh, okay, Mitch. I'm actually gonna leave Mitch here. In theory, it might be better to go here, but I hate step outs with the grenades. Who knows what they're gonna do? Uh, let's see if we can hit all three of them somehow. Nope, best I can do is two. So let's go for the Stun Lancer and the Snake and the Cover. This guy's gonna get a flank next turn too. That's bad. Oh, <laughs> see a civilian. Ooh, Ecta does have a shot through this window, yes! Or not window, but wall that got blown up. Engage. So that's reload and 72%. Oh, it has cover. How much we can do about that? 72%, Ecta, go bro! Come on! Uh, I can't do anything about this stun lancer. Hopefully the snake just strangles. Nice pockets, go strong. So with Razor, 72. Will I have a shot from here? No, shot from here. Razor has no shots from high cover. Ooh, I have a cover from, cover, cover high cover here. Yes, perfect. Okay, Razor, come back to the Tire high cover around. and we'll suppress that guy who might shoot. And please, Snake, move and tongue grab someone. Come on, move your head out. This is pretty intense. Oh, perfect. Yes. Take some damage here. I know, Ecta, it sucks, but thanks for taking one for the team. Oh, All yes. Right. Yes, yes, yes. That's dashing. Okay, here's not dashing. Come up, and we shoot Snake in face. Clock gets 100% to hit, 50 to crit. Murder Snake! Oh, yes. This is a bloody mission. It's so bloody, but it's okay because Razor's about to get squad Maybe size six position. immediately after this. Hey, Ecta, would you mind 100% murder on Mr. Trooper? Oh, a double shotgun over sniper was the smart move. And we can come back here with Mitch and get a flank. Moving to designated coordinates. Hopefully to finish. 80, 80% Mitch, 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 don't blink, don't blink. Whew. Okay, that. Running dry. Oh, the faceless! I forgot. Okay. How many times did I try to remind myself not to forget that? How many? Like fifty? Is the faceless gonna just run in here and murder pockets? Uh, I guess we'll see. Let's move up with Let's Razor. Can we see it? No. Overwatch. Scanning. Can hear it thumping about. Hey, friend. Razor. Like, why aren't you shooting it? Well, I guess that this big thing must have blocked it. So that makes some sense. Can I get in the roof? No. Let's just shoot it, 74%. Good lord. If I stay far enough Running away high. from it, it can't kill me. So let's just come back here. On target position now. Uh, I guess we'll come down here and see nothing with Mitch. That's fine. We can overwatch. We'll overwatch with Plockets. And you know what? We'll do the exact same thing with Ecta, grabbing the loot while we're at it. 
They can't get to anyone, so we should be fine. Repeater and speed! I love speed. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Come on, friend. Come to me. Through many Overwatch. Rockets! Six! Sweet. Who's next? Bitch! <laughs> Miss one. Acta, Acta! Oh, bloody hell. Yep, but it can't get anywhere, so too bad for it. Stop wasting my time! All right, let's give Razor one more. Who designed? If I ever go to the Firaxis HQ in Maryland, I'm gonna find the guy who made this animation, and I'm gonna sit there, pointing at him for like all day. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna point, point at him. It's like, wow, wow, it's such a, the biggest waste of time ever in this entire game, is that pointing animation. Anyway, Razor has an 89, let's get closer. And we shoots and shoots, 92, that's not much better. Come on, Razor, get a kill. Nice. Whew. Bloody, Status bloody mission. Confirmed. Bloody All mission. Are... Well, bon voyage, Brytek. You were murdered, finally, legitimately, by an alien. Unlike a bug. Uh, but it was kind of lame that one grenade hit you, set you on fire, and prevented you from doing anything. Even if you were a repair medic or healing medic, you couldn't have healed yourself and you would have died. So... That sucks, but hey, he also ran the Overwatch too with Razor, but he was flanked, so maybe that's my fault. Anyway, the mission is done. It was bloody. There's going to be a lot of wounds, but squad size six. Now I just need to recruit people so I can have six people on missions. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Operation Hellwagon, indeed. Okay, first things first, second Mimic Beacon. Oh, the overpoweredness is real. Okay, let's go drop some money on that discounted GTS upgrade. Wet work, now this should, I think, give Razor an automatic retroactive promotion. It gives everyone retroactive experience for kills, and Razor is still not a captain. Well, so much for not for squad size six. That's insane. With 25 kills, I figured he'd be a captain by now with that upgrade. I think Tanir did get an upgrade from it, though. I'm gonna go for Lightning Hands and then respec later on, as per Paul's suggestion, which is pretty good. I'm gonna grab the intel immediately because I'm gonna need it to break into New Mexico, or Mexico rather, as soon as possible. 